Parents of U.S. soldiers killed in action are demanding an apology from the Republican nominee for his feud with the mother and father of a decorated U.S. Army captain. Welcome back. We want to bring you an update to the story that we brought you at the top of the newscast where the Dallas protests had turned violent. A Texoma Marine who fought in the Korean War is getting the chance to reunite with some of those he fought with all thanks to his community. Hi, Alex. We've been out here for about an hour, and we still don't have many details, but here's what we do know. The Grayson County Sheriff's Office confirms one person is dead. The other person has been taken to a hospital, but we're not sure what their condition is. As you can see behind me, the Team USA is ready to take on the world at the Rio Olympics. NBC's Mark Barger takes a look at some of the strongest American athletes making their Olympic debuts, as well as some of the familiar faces going for the gold. And turning to weather now, storms coming through our area. A welcome change from all this heat goes in for Allen tonight. Joe, how's it looking? Police in Davis have words of warning tonight for people who like to hike. Officers tell us they police have in the past hour taken away that vehicle that the suspect ditched, but they have yet to find him. Sherman police and I'm Kathleen Jordan. Democrats ended their unprecedented sit in on the House floor. Um, if you were driving around today, you probably got where you were headed. It just took you much longer. An update on the roads now. Things are moving faster on Highway 75 to the side streets. Uh, roads have improved because the snow isn't coming down as hard. But of course, as the temperatures continue to drop, any snow that's on the ground now could turn into I interesting site right here off of Texoma Parkway. I'm going to step aside and show you the sign for the American Bank of Texas has fallen down. A handful of protesters have gathered in downtown Baltimore this evening after a second police officer charged in the death of Freddie Gray has walked out of court a free man. The investigation will look at three main factors to determine the cause of that crash, the balloon, its operators and the environment. Football teams and the Rangers are up against my red hot Orioles. <laughs> Now. Lots of water mm -hmm. and don't forget the sunscreen. Definitely. All right. Yep. Thanks, Joe. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.